Hey everyone, ready for some crazy news that could totally flip education in the job market upside down? We have got the latest updates from the EdTech world just for you. In today's episode, we have got over 300 AI tools that help schools, a bold plan from California to make college degrees optional, and a brand new video generator from Google going head-to-head -head with OpenAI. But wait, there's more. A fleet of humanoid robots just launched into the real world with a mission straight out of the sci-fi. And there's another visionary out there investing big in education. Plus, we are sharing news about huge million dollar investments in European edtech platforms. Sounds good, right? Stay with us. This episode will fly by faster than you can say robots are here because the education revolution is speeding up. EdTech Insiders just released their generative AI map for schools. You can find the link to the map in the description below. This map has over 300 tools divided into six key areas, from new teaching materials to student support and teacher training. The creators say AI can make lessons more exciting and help develop future skills. But there are big challenges. Academic honesty, tool quality, algorithm bias, and data privacy. That's why EdTech Insiders is asking for your feedback and planning regular updates. Is this real breakthrough for global education? Stay tuned so you don't miss the next updates. Keeping up with bold moves in the job market, we are heading to California now. Governor Gavin Newsom revealed details about the master plan for career education, a big plan to create a new career paths for people with and without college degrees. The plan includes recognizing work experience as academic credits, especially for veterans, and removing the degree requirements for about 30,000 state jobs. It's interesting to see how this connects to Elon and his Dodge idea we talked about in the last EdTech News episode. And that's not all. Authorities are introducing Career Passports, a new tool to help workers show their skills to future employers. The main goal? To provide access to stable, well-paid jobs and better match education and training with the fast-changing job market. Are we on the brink of a big employment reform? Or is this just the next step in how education can help us in the job market since showing achievements on LinkedIn isn't enough? Stay with us so you don't miss the next updates. Now, shifting to AI news. Google just launched VO2, an AI video generator that makes 4K videos with better movement and expressions. In tests, users loved VO2 with 60% of the votes, while OpenAI's Sora Turbo got just 27%. Speaking of Sora, this OpenAI model was also released to more users in December. Back to VO. Right now, access to VO2 is limited to the US with a waitlist. They plan to add it to YouTube Shorts and other Google services soon. Are we seeing the start of a new video era? How will this change creation content in education, making it easier for teachers to create interactive stuff? Teachers can now create content based on their stories, but with more multimedia fare. Jumping even further into robotics, Figure just surprised everyone with their latest move. They sent out the first fleet of humanoid robots F02, officially called Figure 2, straight from the factory to a commercial client. The cool part? These robots are never coming back to the company. They are staying in real life for good. The team at Figure is super excited. They believe F02 is the start of a new era in robotics and business automation. The robots have better movement, advanced AI and can work smoothly with people. These robots can be used not just in factories like BMW is testing, but also for home tasks like cleaning and they can even be used in education. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Is this the future where humanoid robots become a regular part of companies and services? By the way, check out the Brett Adcock, the founder behind this project. He's kind of in a Elon Musk shadow, but is making big moves in education and safety with his company Cover AI, which detects weapons in schools. He's also changing the game with electric passenger drones through Archer Aviation and sold his education HR platform Vatery for $110 million. Plus, Brett was named one of the Times 100 most influential people in AI for 2024. We will definitely hear more about him soon. Now, some news from Europe. Sana, an education platform, raised 55 million, bringing its value to 500 million dollars, and bought the automation company Control. Turing College in Lithuania got 2.5 million to develop AI for adult education. 
The Education Focus Fund Emerge also scored big, raising 73 million for future of work and learning startups. In the last 10 years, they have invested in over 80 companies worth $2 billion. And that's all for today's episode. We hope the news from the EdTech AI and robotics world sparked your curiosity even more. Do you have any thoughts, questions, or experiences with these topics? Let us know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next hot updates. See you next time and stay tech savvy.